subtypes aren't really my thing. What is your thing then? Complex female characters. Tell anyone and I'll maim you. Fuck off, Snowflake. Ah! Hey, Pace Flaps. Hey, mate. You look fierce. <laughs> you look like a what's it? Say that again. Nice. Oh! Button to set up wrong. It's a new look. It's like normal. Cool. But with buttons done up wrong. <laughs> How fabulous. Don't be late. I said, stop staring at it! Sorry, it's like a third leg. What are you waiting for? No. Sorry, sorry. Why are your arms so freakishly long? To ra lad. See you later, pet. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Oh. Kelly Clarkson, poets! Nietzsche. What do you think Wolf meant by the history of men's opposition to women's emancipation is more interesting, perhaps, than the story of that emancipation itself? That men are dicks and selective castration is their only hope? You know in rom-coms when the guy finally realises he's in love with a girl and he turns up with a boombox outside a house, blasting a favourite song and everyone in the audience swims? Yeah, that makes me sick. <laughs> <laughs> what about me to school dance? Don't you want to live happily ever after? Please. Do I look like I have a Cinderella complex? Maybe we could, um, go on a date sometime. You want to keep this a secret and then you want to go on a date, do you? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I'll see you again in a week. Maybe Riley. This is for you. Baby, love really hurts without you. Will you please? Be my girlfriend. Take care. We've made sushi. Oh, and I've just realised it's got shellfish in. I'm not allergic. Yeah, I'll die. Just kidding. Stop. <laughs> <gasps> oh! <laughs> Have you considered the possibility of adoption? Don't think anyone will want a pregnant 17 year old. Maeve! Hi! Why are we in an abortion clinic? Oh. You look sweet. Doesn't really seem like your type, though. He's not. A little bit of advice, Lovey. If you want a happy life, you keep the sweet ones around. Don't need a mum, thanks. OK, Einstein. <laughs> Just take my bloody hand. <laughs> Not as tough as you look. It's been a shitty day. Hi. You waited? Of course. There's flowers for me. <laughs> yeah. Seems a bit inappropriate now. No. No, I like him. I think says happy abortion like a bouquet. You really think so? What? <laughs> What's this? Oh. <laughs> oh, the cookie wins. <laughs> You're compellingly odd, Melbourne. Drop something. No. No? Why are you eyeballing the ground then? I'm not. You are. It's unsettling. Speaking as a long term member of the Mordell Social Friar Club, you'll survive. Do you know how long I've been called cockbiter? Four years. Do you know how it started? Simon tried to kiss me at Claire Tyler's 14th birthday. I said no. So he told everyone I'd given him a blowjob bit in his dick. And that was it. This kind of thing sticks. You don't know how lucky you are. She gets up every morning to take you swimming. She goes to all your races. She cries when you lose. Yeah, yeah she shows you every day that she loves you. What's the problem? It might be annoying, but at least she cares. I really liked your essay. You haven't read my essay? No, but I did hear it. It's very bleak. Depends on your perspective. Only you could turn the topic of dreams into existential angst. Pessimists out live optimists. I'm so sorry that I hurt you. You saw something in me when no one else did. I'm a virgin. What? I, I'm a virgin, and I, I think you should know, I am. Yeah, that's totally cool. 
No judgment. Cool. I'm dumping you. For her. She's a slut. Yeah. You're right. But so am I. I'm not a slag. Me neither. But so be good. Please tell us why you should stay at this school. I'm really smart, sir. I'd read all of Jane Austen by the time I was 12, including her lesser known work, Lady Susan, which is a severely underrated piece of feminist literature. I can also gauge the depths of Mr. Hendricks' personal despair based on his choice of Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> I'm really smart. I just got unlucky in the family department. But you do have a dress, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course, I'm not a troglodyte. Yeah. <laughs> If you tell anyone about this, I'll kill you. I have a hatchet and I know a good place to hide a body, okay? <laughs>